What's up guys, it's ya boy Luxon here, back with yet another Xenoblade video, and this time we'll be talking about one very, very important thing in Torn of the Golden Country that nobody has talked about before, and that is the fact that Malos is going to be female in this game. Yeah, not only do I have some pure concrete evidence objectively proving that to be the case, but I'm also going to go over a bunch of nice little tidbits and things in the trailers that were actually hinting at this, and I figured this out before the data miners found the proof, so I'm better than all of you. But first off, we have to talk about the fact that Torn of the Golden Country has been shown off three entire times already. Yeah, the first time was at E3 when we got the reveal trailer and a treehouse demo. The second time was at Gamescom when we got another demo, this time by Nintendo's Redbox thingy. That was a video thing that happened and showed off more stuff. And then we got PAX. There was a Japanese trailer that came out kind of in between Gamescom and PAX. But then Game Explain and Game Informer both got to record 12 minutes of gameplay from PAX. So the first thing you're going to notice is there is no Malos in any of the actual gameplay demos. He only shows up in cutscenes in the trailer. So obviously if they're trying to hide this very important fact, you gotta make it seem like his regular Malos in the trailer. So they just shoved the normal Mal Malos from the main game into those trailers and then in any of the demos when they're playing on the main, the, the actual game thing, then clearly they just have to not show Malos because that would give the entire thing away, you know? It's like keeping a secret. You gotta do stuff like that. Then we got the fact that Malos is actually referred to as the Aegis and not Malos a lot of the times in the cutscenes and in the trailers and in all of this stuff. Now the interesting thing about that is Malos is never called the Aegis in Xenoblade 2. He's just called Malos. But you know who is called the Aegis? Pyra and Mithra. And you know what Pyra and Mithra are? Yeah, they're both female. So clearly only female Aegises can be called the Aegis, which clearly that alone should tell you that Malos is female in Torna. But people didn't figure that out from that, so I've got even more proof. We also can see Malos with a siren in the trailer, and guess who else can only use a siren? Pyra and Mithra. Malos, when he's male in the main story, he can't control a siren. So, again, clearly, he's got to be female to do that, because you don't see a male Aegis doing that at all, so clearly, that can't be that way. Like, you, you know how, you know what I mean, like... They, they don't show it happening, so clearly it can never happen. That's totally sound logic. I looked it up online, so I know that's true. Then also, if you look at Malos' weapon, his version of the Monado, it's closed when it's closed, so when the blade is in and out and stuff, the core crystal slides down so it's covering the ring, but then when he activates it, it slides up. And the way the core crystal is touching the ring, and you take the circle shape of the ring, and then the cross shape of the core crystal, and guess what that looks like? The female symbol! Malos had the female symbol on his weapon, even when he was a guy in the main game, so clearly, they gotta, they gotta play up that symbolism somehow, which means, and this is the only Xenoblade 2 game we got left, so... Obviously, this Malos has to be female. So see, there's evidence just in the trailers we already got totally proving that to be the case. But then, data miners have also found this image of an obviously female Malos. It doesn't look to be completely finished, but surprisingly enough, it does appear to be designed by Tanaka, aka designer for Gears, Saga, and Xenoblade X, as well as the person who drew Shulk, Fiora and Alma, which is just interesting because they didn't get Tetsuya Nomura to do it, but hey, look at that, we've got art for female Malos. Interestingly though, this seems to imply that we'll actually get this Malos and not the regular one as a reward to play in the main game or something because that's album artwork. Characters who don't have a profile picture thing for the party screen or album artwork or that kind of thing, they don't show up in the game's files, so clearly you're going to get this Malos. But you know what the even more interesting thing is? There are, the data miners have actually found the names of the cutscenes for the cutscene viewer. So, like, you could go through and look at all the cutscene names and kind of piece together some of the story about that. The weird thing is there's a lot of stuff talking about Tora and Poppy. And the weird thing is they say dream a lot. So it looks like this entire story is a bedtime story. This isn't what actually happened. Like, this isn't Mithra retelling the story to Rex or anything, or just an objective, not 
told by someone else outside of the viewpoint of the story thing just on its own and you know it's a prequel. This is actually Tora telling Poppy a bedtime story and then it turning into her dream. So that's really interesting. I didn't think the game would ever go that way in terms of narrative. But I also found, and now I data mine this myself. Everyone else found the cutscene stuff and the rest, but um, I used incognito mode on Google Chrome and I was able to find something that no one else found. And that's this version of the logo. And it doesn't say Torna the Golden Country. It says Tora the Golden Country. So if you think about it, there are three main areas on the new affinity chart thing. There's Torna, Gorma, and then the Torn and Capital Oresco. So there's got to be something in the fourth area. And if it's called Tora the Golden Country, what, what could that possibly mean? Well, it turns out that there's also a new set of maps that's not part of Torna or Gorma that I found too. And it seems to be stylized in the way the Xenoblade 1 maps are. So then I realized, this is a dream that Poppy's having that takes place in the Xenoblade 1 universe, and it's called Tora the Golden Country. So we're finally going to get our chance to explore the long-lost titan of Naponis. Aw oh, yeah! Like, comment, and subscribe, people! Um, well, I was originally going to try to extend this to 10 minutes to perpetuate the joke, because of the ad revenue thing, but just recording that six and a half completely threw my voice out, if you can't tell, so you only have to sit through that much. Thank you for watching, I think. I don't know if this is a pleasurable experience to sit through. I hope you realized it was a joke before I got to the Google Chrome part, but there were actually a few truths uh, sprinkled in with the lies there, so... I think some map data has been found in the data mines already. Uh, we knew about who would be playable a long time before, actually, because of data mines. By we, I mean the data miners. I didn't look into it myself. Apparently, cutscene titles have actually been found, so people have been sort of trying to piece together what the plot is, and they found all the enemies and stuff there. So if you want to find out about this stuff, you can go look for it yourself, but also be aware that that's out there if you're worried about spoilers. But, um, as for the actual female Malos art, no, I didn't commission this just to make this joke. Basically, I'm in a Discord server with Miel, the person who drew it. Uh, she said, like, hey, I'm gonna draw a female Malos. Um, she posted it in the server. I made the clickbait thumbnail just as a joke, then figured, wait, I can make an actual video out of this at some point. And a little later on, I made the Tour of the Golden Country logo as a joke. So I figured I can combine them together and actually make a good video. But... If you want to follow her, there's a link to her Twitter in the description. Uh, she has commissions open at the current point, I think, but also just follow because it's good Xenoblade art and does a good job at emulating Tanaka style. Um, I can't talk for much longer, so thank you for watching this video, and I promise I'll have a legitimate Xenoblade video at some point this week, hopefully. See you guys next time. I hate my throat right now.